Our first nominated musical, brought so beautifully from screen to stage by the Walt Disney Company, is, of course, the great classic story, Beauty and the Beast. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish and unkind. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. The prince, repulsed by her haggard appearance, sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty, she said, is found within. And when the prince dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness began to melt away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. As the story begins, beautiful Belle is being courted by the town's handsome and definitely immodest Gaston. Belle? It's about time to get your head out of these books and paid attention to more important things. Intent? Exactly. I can see that we will share all that love implies. We shall be the perfect pair, rather like my thighs. You are face to face with destiny. All roads lead to the best things in life are all's well that ends with me. There's no way certain as Dove. Well, when you marry me, Monsieur Mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. And now we invite you to relax as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest. Be our guest. But I'll serve is to the test. Tie your napkin around your neck, Jerry, and we provide the rest. Soup du jour, part of the You only live to serve. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes! <laughs> One thing more. 